Hi guys, it's Amy from thecrazycraftlady.com. I'm here in my living room where my Christmas tree is still up. I decided not to take it down right away after Christmas. I left it, um, you know, just bare for a little while trying to do more winter themed decor. And then this morning I went to my local Dollar Tree and I picked up a bunch of Valentine craft supplies and I decided to decorate a Valentine tree. So today I'm going to share with you just a few dollar store DIY projects that are more neutral and farmhouse um, in style so that you can decorate for Valentine's as well. Let's get making. I went to my local Dollar Tree store and stocked up on all of these Valentine's supplies. I really didn't want to do anything with red and I wanted to do more like a little bit of pink and green for a more neutral farmhouse type feel. So I ended up doing a lot with chalk paint and spray paint, but this is a good picture of all of my before items. The first thing that I did is I grabbed um, some of these like plastic hearts. They actually open and you can fill them with things and like tie the tie a string around them. I decided to use these um, and make them more of a metallic color. So I grabbed my spray primer as well as some spray paint from my craft stash in three different colors, um, copper, gold, and silver. Um, it was winter. It's winter here in Minnesota, but it was like a nice warm day. So I went outside very quickly and just gave these a quick coat with spray primer and then two coats of the metallic. And then I grabbed... Um, just some regular twine from the dollar store. I absolutely love dollar store twine. It comes in a pack of three rolls for a buck. And so I just strung up these spray painted hearts on my twine so that I could hang it on my tree. I grabbed several of these door decoration type things. I really liked this one with the um, bicycle on it, but like I said, I was not doing red. This season I'm just doing green and pink, so I grabbed my Waverly uh, chalk paint in both moss and fern. Moss is like my absolute favorite shade of green paint. I wanted to do um, a little bit with a lighter green and a darker green as well. So I just took a very fine paintbrush, and this actually took me a little bit of time because I used my green paint to paint over all of the red writing and... Um, the bicycle. So I'm going to speed this up for you and I'm going to show you how I ended up completely transforming the sign with just a little bit of green paint. My six-year-old daughter popped into my craft room for a little while, and so she was helping me there for a bit as well. If you see an extra set of hands, that's what's going on. And then once I had everything painted with my green chalk paint, I went ahead and I pulled out just some like one inch uh, black and white check ribbon to make a bow. I just, the way I make my bows, I make a figure eight with a long piece of ribbon and then I use a smaller piece of ribbon to tie a simple knot around the center to hold it together. I had a little bit of a tricky time doing this because my short piece I cut a little too short and my ribbon started to fray, but I managed to salvage this bow and then I just took my scissors and you um, cut at an angle like at a 45 degree angle to make nice ends on the ribbon and then I just hot glued 
my new ribbon in, or my, my new bow in place uh, where the old red bow had been on the sign. Next up, I grabbed this heart door hanger, and once again, I wanted to do um, a new look with chalk paint, so I first grabbed my uh, sandpaper. I buy these sheets of sandpaper at the Dollar Tree. They come in a pack for a buck. They're great for small craft projects. And then I just um, went about sanding off all of the glitter that I could. It was kind of a messy project. I think I'm going to have glitter everywhere for weeks after doing some of these Valentine's projects, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, I just did my best to sand off all the glitter and glue so that I had as smooth of a surface as possible to paint. Once again, I grabbed my Waverly chalk paint. This time I used ivory, which is a soft white kind of cream color, as well as this red, which is called lacquer. I'll link to everything below. I wanted to do kind of an ombre feel, so on the top section I painted all white with the ivory chalk paint and then in the second section I just um, put a little bit of red paint on my tray and I barely dunked the end of my paintbrush into the red and then I went back with more white and I filled it all in so it was a very faint paint color and then when I went down to the next section I did the same thing dipping my paintbrush in the red paint but this time I picked up just a little bit more red paint than I did before and I mixed it together um, back and forth with the ivory paint and then in the bottom section I did an even darker pink. You can just kind of mix as you go and do whatever you want. I was pretty happy um, with this ombre effect and then once this had completely dried I pulled out my uh, jute twine uh, from the dollar store again. I use this on I swear every project and I added a new tie at the top and then I flipped over my uh, heart and I ripped off the red ribbon that had been connecting the pieces before because once again we're not doing red and I just grabbed my hot glue gun and I secured a piece of twine to the back of the heart pieces with hot glue very carefully I actually didn't burn myself this time which is shocking and then once I got those twine pieces glued down, I covered the top of the twine with a little bit more hot glue just to make sure everything was secure. My third door decoration was this red heart that said Happy Valentine's Day. So once again, I grabbed my um, Waverly chalk paint in ivory and the green was in moss. And I just took a big, a wide flat brush. I actually ended up pouring too much white on this so you'll see me try to scrape some of it and put it back in the jar. But I was able to get like one coat really good coverage um, on this and I just painted everything ivory when I cut that top hanger off as well because I was gonna replace that with something a little bit more neutral. And then I um, took my chalk paint in the color moss and I painted over that like burlap Valentine's banner in the center. It was kind of tricky. I had to use more paint than I wanted to to get the paint to cover because it was soaking in between like the nooks and crannies and the fabric because there was so much texture to it. It took a little bit longer for this paint to dry than I wanted. So I ended up grabbing my blow dryer and giving it a shot with like the cool setting on the or no heat setting on your blow dryer just to get the paint to dry faster so I can move on to the next step which was once again using more of my twine to add a new hanger and once I got that tied with just a simple knot I pulled out my uh, Waverly chalk paint again this time I used the color I think elephant and I used a very fine tip paintbrush to just paint in the crevices of the heart so it kind of gave it a little bit of a shiplap feel so definitely very farmhouse very happy with how this turned out and then for my final step, uh, Dollar Tree has these super cute uh, galvanized metal letters with these words. They, it comes in a pack of three. It says Valentine, XO, and Love. And so I used the Valentine one and I just secured it in place with a little bit of hot glue. My Dollar Tree also had these super cute um, glitter foam hearts that were a little bit too bright for my liking. So I actually ended up changing them up using a little bit of ribbon. So this is not a dollar store buy. This ribbon I got at I think Michael's at the end of the Christmas season 
on major, major clearance when it was marked down. So I bought a big roll because I was like, you know, this is burlap looking ribbon. I'm probably going to use it on a bunch of projects. So I just stocked up. I have seen very similar ribbon to this at the Dollar Tree, but my dollar store was out. They only had, I think, like the green version of this ribbon and not the brown tan. So I use my Michaels stuff for my craft stash. I'll try to link below to something similar. But I just used hot glue to secure the end, one end of the ribbon to my heart. And then I proceeded to just wrap around and around and around a million times and it got kind of messy as glitter started to fall off but that's okay but I just wrapped around all the way around the heart When I got to the corners, I had to get a little creative and wrap at a couple different angles just to get everything completely covered so none of that pink glitter showed through. I ended up in some spots securing the ribbon in the back with hot glue at different spaces just so that my ribbon wouldn't slip around too badly. And then I just kept wrapping around and around. And then for my final step, I used some more of those metal letters to, because I had three sets of letters and three hearts, I was able to do one set of letters on each heart and I just secured them in place with hot glue. And then for my final project, I picked up a pack of these little um, Valentine gift bags. They were a pack of three of them for a dollar. And I've done this before. I think I did this a couple years ago. It was a dollar store craft where I cut gift bags apart and made a garland. So I'm doing something very similar to what I did a couple years ago on the blog, but I just ended up cutting these gift bags apart. Like I said, it came in a pack of three. So because I had three and they have two sides, I was able to get six banner pieces, which was perfect to hang in um, from our mantle. So I just took the time to cut all these apart as best I could to get nice clean lines. At first I started by ripping off the handles and that ended up being kind of tricky and I was afraid I was gonna end up actually ripping my bags. So on my second two bags, I actually just cut the handles off instead of ripping them off. So part of the handle stayed behind on the back of the paper, which was fine. And then I grabbed my trusty dollar store twine as well as some clothespins that I got at the dollar store. And I just used the clothespins to secure um, each gift bag piece to the piece of twine. Then it was time to put everything together on my Christmas tree. So for Christmas, I actually put up three trees in the corner and I'll link to that below. So I left just one tree, and this is a flocked tree that I got at Walmart a couple years ago. It's a phenomenal deal. I love this tree. It's held up really well. And then I had also two garlands of lamb's ear that I had put on the tree at Christmas, so I just left those. Then I bought three rolls of this glitter tool um, in this light pink color from the dollar store. So I started by uh, wrapping my tree in the glitter tool and then I went about just adding all of my other decorations to the tree as well as my um, gift bag garland and then that little uh, gold love sign that I put on the corner of the mantle just for fun. So that's it, you guys. I think I spent, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe... $15, $20, definitely less than $20 in supplies at the dollar store this morning. And now I have a lot of new fun, cute decor for Valentine's Day. Leave a comment below if you think I should keep my Christmas tree up year round. I think I might actually do it. I think I want to then like decorate for Easter and 4th of July and Halloween if it's not too, too wacko. But leave a comment below if you think I should do it. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, happy making.